Some parts are semi semi, but I think overall it's pretty nice. Uh, the pads could be better, and there's like some th kind of noise thingy going on uh, in the background of the track if you really listen to it. But uh, I didn't really bother with that, right? Mm. But yeah, let's take a look at uh, uh, what I made, right? So we have the kick drum here. So it's pretty basic, right? Sample from the original, just uh, using some saturation on it as well right so we have the kick like you can you can actually see where i made where i was making the remake i was making this um markers right and you can see it. in the beginning we have kick bass and analogish what i meant was like this pad because it has kind of uh, i think like most of the sounds in this song have a bit uh analog feel to it right anyways uh so we have the kick then we have the bass which is playing a single note and that is an f sharp right so uh eq uh saturation right and sidechain of course behind the kick and it's made in serum and it's just like two oscillators really basic stuff right so it's a sub and also like one oscillator and i use like two unison right right so that's it pretty much it together with the uh, kick right and then we get this pad which is playing a single note throughout uh throughout the whole sketch right it's playing a and it sounds like this and it's also made in serum right and one oscillator is this like sine wave the other is no yeah the, a sine wave and uh saw wave right and um then we have some saturation also a q and some overdrive, vinyl distortion, erosion, right? And also a compression, right? And then uh, side chaining it behind the kick, right? Um, and yeah, uh, like during the track, you're basically kind of evolving this pad a bit with the cutoff. That, that's the only thing what I did, I think. Uh, yeah, we're basically adjusting like the cutoff of of it right and together with the kick and bass at least in the beginning it sounds like this right um 
and also on these i have two pads like i don't know how many pads there are in the original track right but i i, I did three oh in the original there might be just one but possibly i think there are more because there are playing multiple notes at the same time and they're also a bit different color so i think there are more pads in the original track right uh but yeah uh, i made all of them in serum and also in on these like group chain i have like this auto filter just to uh you know uh cut it off where the vocal starts again right at this part <laughs> We, we have I have like the all the filter as well but uh, yeah we have the second pad which is, which is playing one octave higher right so this one is a4 this one was a3 and it basically just comes in like in this half right just here right And then we have another pad this one this this these two were just one note basically right and then we we get like these melody pads which are playing really sparsely right so we have something here in the beginning and then also here and then also here right but it's not like i don't think it's playing like throughout the whole uh, time maybe it's filtered off who knows right oh, i think i need to And we also have it like here. And it's basically because the first pad is always uh, playing a single note. It's basically where the second uh, note comes in. It's almost like playing harmonies, right? <laughs> it's kind of funny. And we also have like these uh, pads also here. Right? Oh, okay, so that's for the pads, right? Uh, I have some effects here, um, but they're just basic shit. Right, and also here. Right, uh, so that's for the effects. Um, what do we have? We have this plux, right? They sound like this. And they're basically a combination of this bell glass. Wait, it's lagging. Okay. Right? So this sound as well as this one. Right? Right? And um, basically we have some saturation going on. Vintage sampler. I don't really know. <laughs> yeah. Right? And also, I think uh, this delay is also important because it kind of makes it like tr -tr -tr -tr, right, makes it like that, right? Right, and um, yeah, this is in Serum, it's uh, like this monster patch and analog, like sine wave, right? And then I think I'm playing uh, something with the cutoff and global drive. You could play with different things, right? To create just a bit of uh, variation to each hit, 
uh, each hit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, you know, you could do whatever, right? It doesn't sound like the same as in the original, but I think it's kind of close. So, I mean, it's nice. It's okay, I guess. Um, and yeah, like the whole track, you could divide the whole track uh, by the bass line, right? Because in the beginning, we have just one note in the bass. Then we get this bass line, da, 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 right? And it's repeating. As you can see, I made it in a different color. And when we get to this part, we had we have a different uh, bass line, right? We have da, 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 right? And then we go back to this one, which was here, right? Uh, but yeah, um, we could divide it by bass line, that's what I'm trying to say. There are no chords in this track per se, you could add them um, if you wanted to, you could add chords to this, because the bass line is kind of telling you what the chords would be, right? Um, so yeah, we have some uh, like hats and stuff, right? And this one is playing ta 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 ta, -ta right? Right, some sixteenth uh, notes. Then we get the clap, which is kind of clap, head clap. We get the clap, and we also get like the reverse. So together, right. Um, so yeah, that's it. Then we get to this break part uh, here. And uh, what I did is I resampled the toms to get this. Right? And these are actually clicks from the compressor, right? Where you sidechain something and you get like, those artificial uh, pops and clicks uh, because of the attack, right? That's what I did. Um, basically, I took this tom drum and got like these clicks right <laughs> and then i resample that put it into minus 36 and right i did some things right but yeah we got something like this i don't know when in the original maybe it's because of the compressor you you, you hear something like that right uh, but yeah that's it then we get the vocals <laughs> And yeah, here I ditched the, the, the bass line which was playing before, right? In Serum. And I used, I used bass guitar from this Carbury Rickenbacker bass. I think in the original, there's also like some sort of bass guitar playing, right? Um, and what I did is just some saturation, side chaining and uh, EQing it, right? So you don't get the higher frequencies going like, like this, right? Right, so we actually what we did here is we uh, prolonged right this this note right we made it one bar more and we added like the clap and this one is a different clap now right than than before and now we get this kind of bass line now. Uh, like before like in the beginning with the serum patch, right? But we get like da 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 da, right? We get the pad going in.
so yeah i think that's mostly it th th those are all the sounds um so yeah if you have any questions let me know i hope you like this video uh and uh talk soon